Johann Bernoulli, a mathematician of prodigy and legacy. Johann Bernoulli, a distinguished member of the illustrious Bernoulli family of mathematicians and the brother of the Swiss mathematician Jacob Bernoulli, was born on August 6, 1667, in Basel, Switzerland. Despite being initially destined for the family business of drugs and spices, Johann's intellectual journey led him to the realm of mathematics, carving a legacy that significantly influenced the development of calculus and various mathematical disciplines. Raised in a family of scholars, Johann's father, Nicolaus Bernoulli, an apothecary, and his mother, Margaretha Schonauer, provided the backdrop for the emergence of Johann's exceptional aptitude for mathematics from his early years. This aptitude became the cornerstone of a legacy that would shape the course of mathematical history. Johann's academic journey commenced at the University of Basel, where he began by studying philosophy and logic. However, his true passion for mathematics blossomed as he immersed himself in the works of leading mathematicians of his time, such as John Wallace and Isaac Barrow. Recognizing Johann's extraordinary talent, his father permitted him to shift his focus to mathematics. Under the guidance of his older brother Jacob, who was already making a name for himself in the mathematical community, Johann continued his studies. Basel's intellectual atmosphere proved conducive to Johann's burgeoning interest in mathematics. Engaging in fruitful discussions with fellow scholars, he embarked on a journey of mathematical exploration that would establish him as one of the foremost mathematicians of his era. In 1689, Johann earned his master's degree from the University of Basel, marking the formal commencement of his contributions to the field. Johann and Jacob collaborated closely on various mathematical projects, particularly in the realm of infinitesimal calculus. Together, they made significant strides in understanding the properties of curves and developing techniques for solving problems related to calculus. Their collaborative efforts culminated in the publication of Ars Conjectandi, Jacob's seminal work on probability theory. After Jacob's death in 1705, Johann took on the responsibility of editing and ensuring the publication of this influential work. In 1690, Johann embarked on a transformative journey to Geneva, where he studied under the renowned French mathematician Jacques Ozanam. This experience broadened Johann's mathematical horizons and exposed him to new ideas enriching his intellectual toolkit. Upon returning to Basel in 1692, he was appointed as a professor of mathematics at the University of Basel in 1694, succeeding his brother Jacob. Johann's contributions to mathematics extended far beyond calculus. He delved into diverse mathematical fields, making substantial progress in areas such as differential equations, number theory, and mechanics. His work on differential equations in particular laid the groundwork for future developments in the field. Bernoulli's principle, a fundamental concept in fluid dynamics, is another testament to his versatility and impact across various branches of mathematics and physics. One of Johann Bernoulli's crowning achievements was his solution to the famous brachistochrone problem, posed by another member of the Bernoulli family, John Bernoulli. This problem involved determining the shape of the curve along which a particle, subject only to the force of gravity, would slide from one point to another in the shortest time possible. Johann's solution, published in Acta Eruditorum in 1697, showcased his mastery of the newly emerging calculus and solidified his reputation as a preeminent mathematician. Notwithstanding his scholarly achievements, Johann Bernoulli faced professional rivalries notably with the English mathematician Isaac Newton. The feud centered around priority claims and accusations of plagiarism related to the development of calculus reached its zenith with Johann's publication of the Analytical Institutions in 1748, where he openly criticized Newton's method of fluxions. This conflict underscored the competitive nature of the scientific community at the time, emphasizing the role of personal and nationalistic factors in the advancement of mathematical ideas. Johann's influence extended beyond his research and publications. He played a pivotal role in shaping the next generation of mathematicians. His lectures, drawing students and scholars from across Europe, emphasized the practical application of mathematical principles. Notable mathematicians, including Leonhard Euler, 
attended his lectures and later made significant contributions to the field. The legacy of Johann Bernoulli endures, marked not only by his individual achievements, but also by the profound impact he had on the trajectory of mathematics. His prolific correspondence with contemporaneous scholars, including Euler and Daniel Bernoulli, his nephew, facilitated the exchange of ideas and the dissemination of mathematical knowledge. Johann's commitment to the pursuit of knowledge and the advancement of mathematical theory left an indelible mark on the scientific landscape of the 18th century. In recognition of his contributions, Johann Bernoulli received numerous accolades during his lifetime, including election as a Fellow of the Royal Society of London in 1712, a testament to his international acclaim. Despite facing challenges and controversies, Johann remained dedicated to his work until his death on January 1, 1748, in Basel. The life and work of Johann Bernoulli exemplify the spirit of inquiry and intellectual curiosity that characterized the scientific revolution of the 17th and 18th centuries. His legacy lives on through the myriad mathematical principles that bear his name and the generations of mathematicians he inspired. In the annals of mathematical history, Johann Bernoulli stands as a luminary whose contributions continue to illuminate the path of discovery for aspiring mathematicians and scientists.